Welcome to another physical examination of pediatrics uh, part 5 and in today's lesson I'm going to discuss about integumentary system examination uh, in pediatrics. Uh, integumentary means covering and the skin and its accessory organs and hairs, nails and the glands comprises the integumentary system of the body and the integumentary system is the largest organ system of uh, our body. Uh, when we came to the functions of the integumentary system skin is much more than an outer covering uh, it functions to maintain the body in hemostasis despite daily external assaults and the skin also uh, stores fat and water and they plays a role in immunity from uh, disease uh, some of the skin's major protective functions are uh, thermoregulations uh, the skin acts to maintain temperature control by secreting sweat from uh, our sweat glands and this sweat helps to lower our body temperature and also it, it acts as a protective organ and the skin is the first layer of protection uh, when it comes to invading organisms it also helps protect against excessive water loss chemicals and other harmful substances and also ultraviolet radiation uh, the skin also used for uh, sensation and the skin has uh, many nerve endings that send a signal to the brain to convey sensation such as a touch pain pressure and temperature and also skin acts as excretory organ and the material pro protected by uh, it, it acts as excretory material and the skin helps uh, ride the body of wastes and it does this via a uh, perspiration uh, perspiration secretes water salt and a small amount of uh, organic uh, chemicals and also skin is used to synthesize vitamin d and the vitamin d is required to allow the body to absorb calcium and the phosphorus when the skin is exposed to ultraviolet light or sunlight it converts a vitamin D precursor to a vitamin D via liver and the kidney. So, uh, skin has a different factor. And also, in addition to protection and the physical barrier uh, and the vitamin D production and the sensory organ, skin uh, helps to regulate the body temperature as we have said, and it is an immune organ to defect the infection. And also, skin is our identification. So, somebody knows us based on our skin color. Uh, there are three layers of the skin and this includes the epidermis and the epidermis consists of the outermost layer of the skin and it is made of stratified squamous epithelium and the dermis is the inner layer of the skin and it's made of a dense fibrous connective tissue whereas a subcutaneous tissue is a thick uh, fat containing uh, tissue and below the skin the tissue between the dermis and the, the muscles and when we came to the structure of the skin uh, the skin is the heaviest single organ in the body and the skin varies in thickness, color and the texture and there are two major skin types in a single human body and the thick and hairless skins are found on the palms and the soles of uh, feet in areas that are heavily used and thin and hairy skin are found over most of the body. Yeah. When we came to epidermal appendage or epidermal derivatives Epidermal derivatives are essential parts of the skin that have adapted to serve a variety of special functions. From this, uh, one of these is basket cells. Basket cells are uh, epidermal derivatives or epidermal appendages, and it surrounds the base of hair follicles and the sense pressure, and they are evaluated when assessing overall nerve health and the condition. Uh, the other component of epidermal appendages is uh, blood vessel. Uh, these blood vessels carry nutrients and oxygen-rich blood to the cells that make up the layers of the skin and they carry away waste products. The other are glands. Three types of glands exist within the skin. The sebaceous gland, the sweet glands, uh, and the uh, ceremonious glands. And the sebaceous glands uh, secrete an oily substance uh, that protects the skin and prevents excessive water loss. Uh, the sediferous or sweet glands secrete a dilute saline solution that assists in a thermal regulation. Uh, when the solution evaporates on the skin surface, it cools in the skin. The, cer the ceruminous glands uh, secrete wax from the inner ear, and this wax creates a sticky barrier to invading organisms. Uh, the, the other components of the skin is hair. Hair is an epidermal derivative that consists of a keratinized cells tightly uh, bound together. Hair is not permanent, but is continuously being replaced. Hair assists in transmitting sensory information and in uh, it is associated with a gender identity and culturally it, it plays an important role in self-esteem and the status. Yeah. 
here are also different content uh, for example here erector muscle this hair erector muscle or erector pili muscle is are a tiny muscles connected to each hair like uh, follicles and the skin and when they contract they cause the hair to stand erect uh, hair follicle lays under the skin and they nourish the hair and it is a tube shaped sheath that surrounds the parts of the hair and is located in the epidermis and the dermis and the material protected uh, those things uh, those materials protect the hair also or in addition to uh, erecting the hair and also uh, uh, assisting the hair to make uh, stand erect and the hair shaft is a part of the hair that is above the skin uh, the others are longer hand cells longer hand cells attach themselves to antigens that invade uh, damaged skin they alert the immune system uh, to their presence the others are melanocytes the melanocytes produce a melanin and is located in the basal layer of the epidermis and this is important for giving a color to our body and the Markel cells uh, they are located in the basal layer of the epidermis and they are tactile cells of the neuroectodermal origin. Uh, the, others of, uh, the other components of epidermal appendages are nails. Our nails are hard plates of keratin and the ones used in a defense to assist in opening potential food items. Uh, the other components of epidermal appendages are uh, passing in uh, Corpuscles. A passinian corpuscle is a nerve receptor that is located in the subcutaneous fat tissue that responds to vibration and pressure. Uh, as we have said, sebaceous glands is are uh, small sac-shaped glands that release an oily substance into the hair follicle that protects and coats the hair shaft from uh, becoming brittle. They are located in the dermis. The others are sensory fiber, sensory nerves. The epidermis is nervated with sensory nerves. Uh, this this uh, nervous sense and they transmit heat, pain, and the other sensation. Yeah. When the nerves are uh, not functioning properly, sensations such as pain, burning, numbness, tingling, and the pins and the needles may be felt. Uh, as we have said also, the other is about sweet gland. These sweet glands are located in the epidermis and they produce sweet that is uh, secreted through tiny products onto the surface of the skin. That means stratum corneum. And when sweet evaporates, skin temperature is lower. These are epidermal appendage and their uh, functions. Uh, the others are ecran glands or that secrete sweet. Uh, when we came to street taking, uh, before just doing a physical examination, we should have to ask a patient about uh, pruritus or itching, whether the skin lesion have some itching sensation or pruritus, uh, whether the skin of the patient is dry or the roses, uh, and also. Uh, we should have to ask about the rash, uh, the primary site, the site where it starts and the, the direction where it grows or migration and the pattern and the evolution of the rash. And we should have to also ask for the presence of bruising or chemosis. And we should have to ask for any mass or lumpus, uh, any past health history, uh, such as immunological, endocrine, collagen, vascular disease, renal, hepatic or other uh, past illness should be asked. And history of past allergic reactions and the medications and dermal remedies uh, used to treat uh, the skin lesion should be uh, When we came to physical examination part, uh, to examine the integumentary system, we should have to prepare, and the preparation include having a direct lightening, especially natural sunlight is uh, best, and small centimeter ruler, uh, pen light, gloves, and the wood lights or ultraviolet light might be needed for a special process. Uh, for, uh, the first component of the physical examination of the integumentary system is inspection. Uh, on inspection, we should have to check for the color of the skin, uh, whether the, uh, there is a pallor or not. Uh, we should have to check on the palm, on the conjunctiva, and also uh, we should have to check for the, uh, on the tongue for the presence of pallor or not. And also we should have to check cyanosis. Uh, cyanosis is a bluish discoloration that results from a lack of oxygen in the blood and it appears with respiratory or circulatory compromise. And the cyanosis manifests as a bluish uh, color to the lips, fingertips, and also nail beds. And to detect cyanosis, the areas around the mouth and the lips and over the cheekbones and also earlobes should be uh, observed. Uh, the other component is erythema. Uh, erythema is uh, it's the redness of the skin caused by the congestion of the capillaries. And in light skinned people, it is easily observed at any location where it appears. And it might be difficult to detect retema in a dark skinned person as the skin turns uh, to purple gray or uh, 
as skin turns to purple gray due to increased blade supply and also you should have to check for jaundice such as at the skin and the uh, initially jaundice appears on the sclera and so document whether there is a tattoo on the skin of the person and also general pigmentation of the skin should be checked and areas of hypopigmentation or hyperpigmentation should be checked and also abnormal color changes should be documented if it is there uh, uh, we should have to also check the hair uh, on here we should have to inspect the distribution of the hair uh, the quality of the hair and also the texture and also we should have to inspect the scalp for any lesion any excoriation any lump any bruise or uh, anything like lies or other thing on the scalp and also we should have to check a nails for uh, color shape contour texture integrity thickness and also uh, capillary uh, the second part of the integumentary system physical examination is palpation uh, on palpation we should have to check for the temperature of the skin uh, the temperature of the skin is checked by uh, the dorsum of the hand and we should have to check the worms uh, or uh, whether it is the, whether there is fever or whether the skin is cold and the worms reflect this increase circulation and we should have to also compare both sides when we examine for example upper extremity we should have to compare uh, the upper extremity of both sides and the lower extremity both sides and we should have to check the moisture uh, moisture refers to the uh, skin hydration level in terms of both uh, wetness and also oilness and the texture should feel uh, normally smooth soft and resilient uh, so we should have to check the texture of the skin and also we should have to check for skin target yeah, target uh, dehydration as a result of dialysis is, is a major common uh, problem in our country and assessment of the skin target is one of the criteria uh, in assessing the extent of dehydration and the pinch should be along the longitudinal axis of the abdomen we should not do on the um, vertical axis of the abdomen release the, the, the pinch and determine the time taken for the skin to go, to go back to uh, this place and this may be classified as skin pinch goes quickly and the skin pinch goes back slowly uh, and also a skin pinch goes back very slowly based on the duration of uh, uh, the second it takes to return to, to this place we, we say it is fast if it goes back quickly we say it's slow skin pinch if it goes back slowly but uh, before two seconds we say very slow skin pinch if it goes back uh, very slowly that means if it takes greater than two seconds and also check for edema and degrade it if it is pissing yeah edema has graded as uh, grade uh, one if there is mild pitting edema and two millimeter depression that disappears rapidly we say plus two if there is moderate pitting edema and the four millimeter depression that disappears in 10 to 50 seconds and we say grade 3 uh, pitting edema if there is moderately severe pitting edema 6 millimeter depression that may last more than a minute to disappear and we say severe uh, pitting edema if it is 8 millimeter depression that can last more than 2 minutes to disappear uh, another component of uh, palpation of the integumentary system includes uh, about skin lesion uh, first there are two types of skin lesion primary and the secondary skin lesion primary lesions are the initial lesions and are characteristics of the disease itself whereas secondary uh, lesions results from external causes such as scratching trauma infection or changes caused by wound or uh, wound healing depending on the stage of the development skin lesions are uh, further categorized according to type and the appearance uh, after, uh, if there is any lesion present we should have to uh, check this color we should have to describe its shape and the configuration which should have to uh, describe its size elevation exudation and also we should have to describe its location and uh, distribution uh, primary lesions are uh, lesions as we have said primarily skin lesions are lesions that uh, the initial lesion and they are characteristics of the disease itself they include uh, macule patchy papule plaque vesicles bullet and nodules cyst wheel and uh, purpura so we say macular if it is a flat non palpable lesion with an area of color change that measures uh, less than uh, five millimeter they can be well or ill defined whereas we say we say patchy it, if it is a flat non palpable lesion with an area of color change that measures over five millimeter uh, they may have some subtle surface changes such as wrinkling or fine scale but the surface is unchanged 
Populous circumscribed palpable lesion caused by a proliferation of cells in the epidermis or superficial dermis that measure less than 5 mm. We say plaque. Uh, plaque is a palpable lesion caused by proliferation of cells in the epidermis or uh, superficial dermis that measures over 5 mm. Where are basically uh, circumscribed fluid field region with a diameter less than 5 mm. We say bulle. Uh, F is a fluid feed region containing serous or seropropellant uh, fluid with a diameter over uh, 5 mm. So, vesicles and debulae are differentiated by size. If it is less than 5 mm, we say vesicles. If it is more than that, uh, bulae. And also, macula and the patch is differentiated also by size. Nodule is a palpable region caused by proliferation of cells into the mid deep dermis with a diameter over 5 mm. Uh, Cystis is an epithelial lined cavity containing liquid and a semi solid or solid material. Whereas a wheel is a round or flat tapir swelling in the upper dermis that has a red halo or flare and disappears within 24 to 48 hours. Purpura is a red or purple region caused by extravasation of blood into, uh, bled into the skin or mucous membrane that might be palpable or non palpable. Small lesions less than 3 mm alcohol petechiae and lesions over 5 mm alcohol ecchymosis. These are an examples of uh, primary skin region. Uh, macule, uh, bullet, patchy, nodules, plaque, papule, wheel, and the vesicles, and also uh, pustules. With secondary skin lesions are uh, uh, the result, secondary skin lesion result from external causes such as scratching, trauma, infection, or changes caused by wound healing or treatment. So they are not the characteristics of a disease itself. They are secondarily uh, changed. Uh, from this, scales is produced by abnormal keratinization of the epidermal cells that have died in the shade. Uh, whereas liquidification is uh, the thickening of the epidermis commonly caused by scratching. Pustule is a small elevated fluid field lesion containing neutrophils. It can be red or white. Uh, crust is a dried collection of serum and the cellular exudates. Uh, whereas fissure is a linear discontinuation of epithelial lining with a sharply demarcated margin that can extend into the dermis. Erosion is incomplete loose of the epidermis and the region is moist, circumscribed and usually depressed. Ulcer is the complete loose of epidermis in addition to part of the dermis and even some subcutaneous fat. A scar contains a fibrinous tissue and the results from the biological process of wound healing. Uh, atrophy is a loose of tissue which can be epidermal, dermal or subcutaneous. With epidermal atrophy, the skin appears thin, transluent and wrinkled. Dermal or subcutaneous atrophy results in depression of the skin. Uh, this is an example of secondary skin lesion, uh, ulcer, fissure, scale, uh, lichenification, erosion, and uh, atrophy. So this is all about integumentary system physical examination. Uh, thank you.